To attend closely to develop attention skills is a good idea. In this world where we are being bombarded by stimuli from every source, whether it's the media, whether it's entertainment, whether it's work, our social interactions, the, the Twitter, the Facebook, the internet, the iPads, the in, all of this, the cell phones and so forth, it seems like we're always talking and occasionally listening. But there's like a centrifugal force here on the human mind, and it's called modernity, and it's scattering us. It's making it difficult to be able to sustain our attention even for five seconds at a stretch, let alone children coming into a classroom and trying to learn something for 50 minutes at a stretch, with a 10 minute break and then trying to learn something else. We're teaching our children all kinds of practical skills, and the one thing we're not teaching them is how to attend to anything at all. We're raising an environment that is designed as if, as if in some kind of a macabre experiment to completely fragment the human mind, which is just the opposite of attending. So developing attention skills, good idea. But we have to come back to something more basic. What are you developing them for? What's your aspiration? What's the point? And it could be to swindle. It could be to improve your abilities on the putting green. Then there are people who develop attention skills so they can be more effective healers, teachers, and help and, and service service professions in so many different ways. There are people who develop attention skills to try to fathom the nature of the human spirit through contemplative practice, through meditation, through deep philosophical inquiry. So before we get all gung-ho about developing attention skills, we might ask the question, why? What's your aspiration? And so those desires, those aspirations, that actually give rise to a greater sense of well-being for ourselves and others, well, to aspire from that, that's meaningful. And once you have something meaningful in mind that actually could reduce suffering and bring about a greater sense of well-being, now's the, ch now's the time to develop attention skills. Carry through with that one. All the meaningless aspirations, all the malevolent, conniving, exploitative desires. I don't want you to have good attention skills. I'd rather have you be fragmented. So first develop authentic aspirations. Then develop your attention skills so you actually carry through well.